Okay, so what we're going to do, the next piece of this is, I'm sure we've all been in situations where we've been talking to somebody and, you know, the conversation is going really well, right? We've been in conversations where it's very stimulating, it's going back and forth, and it feels like it's truly a two-way street. All right. With those types of conversations, there's a reason for that. Um, partially, it is making sure that, yeah, you're, you know, it's two way street, but, um, you know, great way we can close deals is by asking the right questions. Right. Some some good questions you may ask are things like what motivated you to meet with us today? Today is October 12th. 2023. Once again, the name of this channel is Digital Money Flow, where we teach you how to make money online. That's a really good question you want to ask. All right. What motivated you to meet with us today? And what is the outcome that you want? All right. These two, two questions are really powerful, and I do it in this order. Right. So what motivated you to meet with us today? It's going to help them understand you know, why they, um, why they really filled out that form and, um, and what's going on in their life and their business right now that they really need help with. And they're going to let you know what the outcome is that they want. Maybe they say, well, at the end of this, I want to be able to figure this solution out, or I want to have some options for what I can do in my situation at this point. Right. Um, so it's up to us to provide them the options and let them know, well, you can keep doing this. You can try and learn it yourself or you can hire a third party. What are you interested in? Right. What would you rather do? Do you want to, you want help learning it or do you want to do it yourself? Or do you want someone else to just do it all for you? Which one would you rather? Right. Um, So with that being said, um, next question that you can ask is, what exactly are we trying to accomplish today, right? Um, that could be, that helps them, and at, you know, focuses in the, the, the conversation by using the word exactly. It helps them, uh, remember and tell you exactly why they're on the phone with you and what maybe they divulge the specific type of solution they want right now the next question that you can ask is what seems to be the problem and how long have you had this problem for right really good question um, what seems to be the problem how long have you had this for right really really good question that we want to ask um so This is going to tell you, once again, the name of this channel, it's Digital Money Flow. This is where we teach you how to make money online and give you tips and tricks of what to do, how to do it, um, what's been working, how you can make money every day online, right? Um, that's exactly what we do on this channel. And all of this bleeds together because not only can you go to the technical side and make money on the technical side, but if you're selling services, you're talking to people and closing deals like that online, you're going to need to know how to sell, right? So um, all this stuff is relevant, right? So what seems to be the problem? How long have you had it for? And then the last question could be, if this meeting accomplished everything you could possibly hope for, what would that look like? All right? And these are great questions. Five incredibly powerful questions that uh, you can get into the habit 
of asking, right? Um, the next thing, you know, that we can do is we can make sure that we are talking less. This is a really, really, really good thing. So the next step that we want to look into is going to be, this is the final and third step to close and sell anything to anybody, which is talking less and this this one seems counterintuitive because you think you need to say the right things to actually close the deal but you're actually going to find that's not the case it's actually about listening asking the right questions and then help helping the prospect understand what their issues are and what they want to do about it and then uh, letting them know that there's a clear path to help them get what they want right if they believe that you can help them get what they want very easily um, they're going to be more likely to want to buy it. So how can we practice talking less, right? How can we go about practice talking less? Well, we can take into consideration that we need to balance advocacy and inquiry. In other words, we need to balance advising people and asking people questions. We need to make sure there's a solid balance because they came to you because yes, they want a solution, so they do want your advice. They want you as the expert to give them advice, but they don't just want advice. They also want to be able to express themselves and let you know what's really going on. So that's why we need to make sure we're having a, a structured balance. And there's no exact formula, but um, it's intuitive. You need to be conscious and aware of this when you're in the conversation. You need to be asking good questions, listen for them, and then dive deeper on the questions that they're giving you and make sure you figure out what the underlying pain point is behind everything that they're telling you. And then you give them advice as the expert and say, hey, well, this is actually a few things that you could do right now to turn the ship around, right? Um, also, another way you can practice talking less is approach it like a normal conversation. When you're in a normal conversation, if you're doing all the talking, you're going to bore the other person uh, to, you know, they're, you know, you're just going to bore them. And um, we don't want to do that. We want to Make sure it's a two-way street. Make sure they get asked us questions. We get asked them questions, right? We we just make sure that all of our questions are very thought out and very good. They're going to have some general questions that we can easily answer, right? Um, so that's what you want to be aware of. And then finally, being aware of your airtime is another way you can practice talking less just by being aware of how much you're actually talking. Like in this video right now, I'm doing all the talking. This would not be a good conversation between two people if I was doing all this talking, right? um there needs to be back and forth so you need to be aware of that um and that's going to help you once again the name of this channel is digital money flow right where we help people make money online and this is one of a million of ways that you can do it this is just the method of talking to people to make money online right talk to talk to people to sell them some kind of online service that you can then charge them on a monthly basis. Sometimes you can charge thousands of dollars every month for something like this, right? Um, so be conscious of your airtime. The reason this is so important is because we've all been at that, you know, we've all been at that position where we're trying to sort through the maze that's in our head of which way do I go? Do I go left, right, straight, back? Do I go up, down, right? Which direction am I supposed to go in? If you just tell people, oh, go left, then go right, then go, they haven't learned anything other than they can listen to you for the right advice. They haven't actually learned how to make good decisions for themselves. We don't want them to do that. We want them to make good decisions and be get better at making good decisions and make them aware of what's going to come if they make this decision over that decision, pros and cons. When we help them weigh out options and decide what what's, is it worth getting what they want? and sacrificing a little bit right now to get what they want. If it is, then moving forward is the direction, right? Um, so definitely want to help people sort through their maze. Okay. And once you do that, you're going to end up closing a lot more deals. It's, it's amazing, right? Um,